Hi everybody, this is going to be a really short video, well short for me, and I have a free asset for you, uh, a little utility called Animation Retargeting, and it's going to be really useful in your process. Now, I'm not personally using it in this project because this is a live mode project, and who this is going to help is when you do your recordings on the iPhone in FaceCap and you export the FBX with the gray head and the animation keyframes and your audio file. You import that into whatever your program is, Unity probably. This, this, this asset is for Unity. Uh, when you are doing pre-recorded and then importing those recordings into your Unity project, this is the path that you want to know. Uh, it's not helping me on my live mode right now, but soon I'll be doing these other projects very similar. So a few months ago, just before the, just before the pandemic started, a, a YouTuber named Baroque Dub, uh, and he, he comments on my, my, my YouTube page a few times, and so maybe you know him, maybe you follow his channel, but he alerted me to this uh, workflow where he's using a, a paid asset in Unity to retarget the animations. And the idea is you import the recordings from FaceCap. And of course, all of those keyframes, the blend shape keyframes are iPhone keyframes. Uh, you can create a preset where you retarget all of those keyframes to the Mixamo blend shapes. And as you can see, uh, it, it's working great once he does this process. And it's a one-time setup. You save the preset, and then you can use it again and again. And in fact, the tool is designed that you can you can put all of your uh, face cap recordings in one folder, and the tool will just work on the entire folder once it has the preset instruction set. Now, the, the tool that Baroque Dub is recommending in this video, and I'll, I'll put a link to his video in my description. The tool that he's using is called Project Search and Replace, and this is obviously more than just animation retargeting. This is for any asset inside your project, so this is probably a really great tool whenever you're working with teams or you're working with, like, uh, you know, multiple partnerships where everyone is contributing something different and you're going to have a proxy object or a work in progress object and then later when that project is or when that asset is rebuilt and you want it you want it to just you know appear everywhere that you used it before you use project search and replace and it's a mostly uh, automated process now this same developer uh, enemy hideout llc on GitHub made a free utility, and that's what I'm here to, to recommend for you, is this free utility, which I assume is a subset of Project Search and Replace. And this is just the tool for just this one purpose called Animation Retargeting. Now, he does not have, use the same name on GitHub. It's Robotron 2084 over on the Asset Swords Enemy Hideout LLC. Uh, but if you search GitHub, and I will put a link in the description, I'm sorry, a lot of you have pointed out that I do not put links in my video descriptions, so I'll try to do better. <laughs> the, if you search GitHub for animation retargeting, you'll find it. It's just about the only thing there under that name. Animation retargeting Unity. Search on GitHub, you'll find it. Robotron 2084, and this is just a small piece of project search and replace that is specifically for this one workflow that we're doing uh, transferring animations from one figure to another. So again, the process is you're going to create a preset and in that preset it's going to map or remap or retarget the original keyframes by name to the Mixamo uh, blend shapes. So we all know that the, the two, the iPhone blend shapes and the Mixamo blend shapes are very similar. They're not exactly one-to-one, -one, but you can get away with just remapping or retargeting for most of these uh, blend shapes. And this is free. 
thank you so much, Robotron 2084, because this is a really necessary utility. And uh, also, uh, thank you, Baroque Dub, for for letting me know about this. Um, please, guys, tell me tell me more stuff that you discovered. Tell me the tools that you're learning. I will definitely share and pass the information along. Now, the only reason I'm not using this is because live mode. Uh, doesn't allow me to, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm just sending data into my Unity project for this live puppet. So there, there are no animation files inside Unity. I'm just sending OSC data across the, the Wi-Fi. So that's the only reason I'm not using it. But uh, very soon I've got some projects in the work. As I said in another video, I'm trying to wean off my Mac. old habits die hard and I'm trying to move on to my PC which is much newer and has a much more powerful graphic card and is up to date and in the process I will probably be doing more narrative things similar to what Broke Dub is doing and uh, I don't know if I'll still stick with the the live puppet probably because it's awfully convenient again to just like fire this up and be able to, to tell you guys something so I'm staying busy. You, I, I will be back soon with some more advanced videos. I just wanted to share this free tool with you, Animation Retargeting. This is going to help you, uh, even if you're not using the iPhone. But yeah, if you're using the iPhone, this will work not just fuse figures, any figures with fax blend shapes. Even if you only have a handful of blend shapes, you're going to be able to retarget them. And uh, by the way, you can do this with uh, your rigging or any keyframes I assume it doesn't just have to be the blend shapes but although you know that's that's what we need here so I'll be back I'll be back soon guys uh, stay safe and keep creating <laughs>